I go free. I love to talk my shit. And you must be a pussy boy if you get offended. Bitches see the snow. They love me cause I'm cold. Hey, you can't take no nigga from me. I got my control. Uh, I wanna fuck in the mirror. I like to look at your face. Good morning. Good morning. Is he cute? Is he cute? Is he cute? Is he cute? Good morning. Is he cute? Hey okay, y'all, is he cute? Is going for his morning walk outside with grandma and the kids and i have to go get ready like use the bathroom and brush my teeth and i'm gonna take him outside so he can start on his morning run hey you guys welcome back to another video so basically what i just watched was me basically like prepping to get my day started and ready to go i usually wake up during like every well at first it was every three hours now i feel like i get more sleep in so i want to say about every five hours now kind of maybe maybe a little i don't know but anyways yeah just watch me basically um get my baby ready really to start his day also so basically when we wake up well we really haven't been doing this for long but for the last like two or three days um he wakes up I, you know, change his diaper, feed him, and then he's like really happy, has a lot of energy. So I put him in the stroller and then um, we go to the back and just like walk around with his stroller and stuff. Um, the kids, my nephews and nieces, um, they're usually in the back with my mother-in-law and stuff. So if I have to like go in and get like shower or something, I just let her watch him for whatever time I need um and you know she'll watch him and then that's basically pretty much it so right now um I would have been back there with him but she my boyfriend's mom sent me to the store to get some some stuff so she can cook so that's what I'm gonna go do right now um I'm gonna go make a Walmart run and then after that, around like 2.45, it's currently 1.10, so around like 2.30ish maybe, or 20ish, I have a doctor's appointment. I have my six weeks postpartum appointment. I was supposed to be actually gone to that appointment, but I had to cancel it for um, family emergencies that I had going on. So I scheduled it yesterday for today. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And then after that, I should be coming home to get my baby dressed so we can go to Tammy's little pool day she has planned. So hopefully I can bring you guys along and film a little bit of that. I won't be filming everything just because that is, you know, for her purposes, her channels. <music> So I just got back from Walmart and I just put the stuff in the house. Now I'm about to go to my appointment. It is currently 2.28. My appointment is at 2.45. So I need to go ahead and skedaddle out of here. But I'll see you guys when I get to my appointment. Ciao. Hey y'all, so I just left my appointment. My cervix is back to normal, it's closed or whatever. She said I can go ahead and start working on baby number two. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Psych. No, she ain't say that. But basically, she said try to um, like take care of myself for at least like 18 months. Because that's when like your body probably like completely heals correctly. That's probably the amount of time it takes, I'm assuming. I don't know, but I don't plan on having kids um, anytime soon. So... I don't really worry about that. And yeah, so.
so basically that's how my appointment went and right now i'm gonna go home to get my baby because i didn't bring him with me but i'm gonna go home get him ready and then we're gonna head to nana's house because that's where um tammy's having her little pool day event so i'll see you guys probably when i get home you're probably gonna see me dress my baby and then we'll be at nana's house after that I'm about to get easy cute ready to go to bat auntie nana house but this is fit we going with some shark shorts and this little woozy cute and i just got him these shoes yesterday aren't they so cute tiny and then i'm put this little dog perfume on him smells really good easy cute easy cute he's sleepy but you see little shoes <laughs> i won't take the socks i'll probably take them off over there but this is what it's given say hi hi hey whoa tammy doing what you doing tammy penny and lemonade I said, hit me. Hit me and lemonade. Hey. I'm about to try mine. Yeah. I'm making a change today. The lift have been taking a pain. Four hours later. I'm about to share one here before bed. And we should end the night. <laughs> you have what is this? Oat milk. Oat milk. Water. Yeah. Baby down. <laughs> Good night. The next day. Easy Q just had his first boo boo of the day. So I'm gonna change him and then after that I'm gonna be fixing his clothes. <laughs> making him fall asleep I'm gonna watch some TV real quick okay so my baby sleep and I actually changed the um, channel to Nana and Zay I'm about to um, start folding his clothes and then probably shower Hey y'all, so my baby had woke back up, so I'm actually just gonna go ahead and eat my little lunch real quick, and then I'm gonna probably start folding some clothes. I don't know, but I'm about to show y'all what I'm about to eat. shower and i basically wanted to come on here and share with you guys what i've been using um for my stretch marks since i gave birth and i feel like it's kind of working so far i don't um really see a whole much of a difference but i feel like i see just a little tiny bit so i just wanted to come on here and share you guys share with you guys what i use and i guess what works for me and yeah, so basically, I go in the shower and I exfoliate with these, um, with this Dove, 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 I don't know, exfoliator. And I got this from Walmart. This is the Crush Macadamia and Rice Milk. It looks like this. I use that and I like exfoliate my skin for like about a minute or so. And then I go in with this Mexican cream and it's called Pumada de la Campana. I believe you can get this at Walmart also, but every time I get it or my boyfriend's mom gets it, it's from like the Mexican store. 
and this is a Mexican cream and as y'all can see I use it every day you're really supposed to use it twice or three times a day maybe that's why I don't see a lot a lot of results in my stretch marks but I'm gonna start using it twice a day because at first I would use it twice a day now I get like lazy so I use it once a day but I basically just I don't use no no other lotion or cream where my stretch marks are at i basically just use this and then i go in everywhere else on my body with another lotion body lotion or whatever but i mainly have stretch marks on like my belly area and like my hips um i'm still kind of like insecure about my stretch marks so if i get a little brave enough i might add like after and before picture like um a picture of me when i had just got home from the hospital how my stretch mark looks looked it and a picture of how they look now for you guys but basically these are the two things i use for my stretch marks i also was using like a vitamin e oil but i got tired of putting that on plus i feel like this is really oily already plus the oil i was like i'm doing too much i just kept it at the cream since it's a cream and already has a whole bunch of oil in it so yeah basically that's what i use for my stretch marks comment down below what you guys use or what you think works for you because I, I need like quicker results and i feel like this is kind of cutting it but i need something a little bit more quick quicker so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna start applying this twice a day to see if i see more like quicker results and if i do i'll keep you guys updated this is also good for pimples and other stuff all right y'all so since my baby is still sleeping i'm gonna go ahead and fix his clothes real quick and then after that i'm not sure what i'm gonna do breakfast with my sister-in-law and my mother-in-law and they had to um, run out to do a few things so I'm currently home and my baby is asleep um I'm not sure what I'm gonna get into later I think nothing we might um check out this new ice cream place I know yesterday my sister-in-law went but I didn't get the chance to go so she said maybe she was gonna go again today and I was going to tag along or whatever. Um, other than that, I don't really think there's anything planned. But I'm going to bring you guys along to the new ice cream shop or whatever. But other than that, I don't really think I'm going to be doing anything. Um, my baby was acting pretty good at um, the breakfast place we went to. So far, we've been going out to eat and taking him. I think it's been like already like three or four times. And he has been like behaving real good. So hopefully it stays that way. Um, 
But my mommy's out there. Comment down below. How do you like. What are like I guess techniques. Or what do you guys do. To like keep your baby calm. When y'all go out to eat. Or like just out in public. I think I only went out like to the store once with him. And while I was shopping. My brother-in-law was actually. Um, taking care of him. Just like walking around in the store. And like attending him. While I was actually shopping. So. I guess that don't really count, but I think one day I want to go out to, like, the store and see how he behaves. I think he'll be good, because most of the time he's sleeping. But, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys what was going on. Hey, y'all, so we on the way to the ABC store, because I decided to make drinks today. So, me and Ruby and maybe, I'm going to say our aunt. <laughs> We're probably gonna drink and make some drinks or whatever so we're gonna go to the um, ABC store and then we're gonna go to the dollar store to get like some glass cups because we don't have none and I think I'm gonna need glass cups so I can see like how much I'm pouring in there decided to go with these glass cups because they're like not too big and not too small and like I said I need to see through the clubs to see how much I'm pouring in but I got my Patron um the syrup and I don't know if I mentioned but I am making the sunrise the tequila sunrise so first thing is putting the shot in here I don't have a shot glass, so this is gonna do it. This is strong. Next, I'm gonna put ice. You want a lot of ice? Mm -hmm. We doing the orange juice. Juice. We probably should have had got a different. I mean, another juice. Not a different one. Another one. Cute. Yeah. Okay, bartender. Right. <laughs> giving bartender. Okay, we about to try these to see what what it's giving. Mm -hmm. Are you trying them? Yeah. I taste them. That that. Yeah. This is the filling for the empanadas. So 
not a frying going on.
a Mexican restaurant because technically that's all my mom likes, really. So I wasn't like really aiming for any American restaurants. I know basically all I've been doing is eating and like drinking. That's what it seems like. But honestly, I don't really do this on a regular. Maybe the eating part, I, I do definitely do that on a regular. But like drinking, I don't really do that like as often as y'all may be seeing in this video. So I just want to clear that out. I'm not an alcoholic. But yeah, my baby's in the back. I'm about to go pick up Christy. I guess we all just want to like to ride together and not be in separate cars. So I'm going to pick Christy up and then I'm going to pick up my mom and then my sister Maria. She's already going to be in, at the restaurant waiting for us. Hey y'all, so we came wine tasting for today. So I'm just gonna get a few clips. I'm not gonna get too much because this for Claudia's vlog. But say hey y'all. Chori. Hey everybody. We're cutting. We get fancy one back. I'm ready for those. Alright y'all, we're about to get wine slushies, as y'all can see, it's that wine slushie, they got the different ones over there. Yeah, they're all wine slushies, except for the tier one. So we're about to decide which flavors we want to try out. We excited, we're going to get the little flight where it brings four. So the girls is deciding. We try on the wine slushies before we actually before we actually decide which ones we want on here. Which one been your favorite, Chupi? I think the lemon drop. The lemon drop one. Mm -hmm. It's not all that. Which one? The one. That's the pomegranate. What is that? Oh no. Oh yeah. That's blueberry pomegranate. Oh yeah. Blueberry pomegranate. That's the one that I. This one, you wanted to try it? Yeah, she like don't coconut. like sometimes. <laughs> that I don't like the black. This one good? Yeah, is that one is so good. So we're going to do that. I don't like the blue one. Let me see. That's the caramel. Tell me the colada. Because I like mm -hmm. coconut. That coconut's strong. We got strong. one more. Mm -hmm. That coconut's strong. What about the... Than the wine, the slushy. Yeah, it's not the main it's clean white wine feel to it. Um, this collection does have about 3% residual sugar, so that's pretty light on the sugar content for a wine selection. 
we do have a red in this collection and a rosé, and they both have the uh, same amount of residual sugar. These are perfect for sitting on the deck, just sipping on a glass of wine, or even with a meal. It goes really well with a meal as well. All right, y'all. So me and Karen are gonna finish the rest of this. I'm scared. I got more than you. It tastes nasty. But I don't really like The collection is called the Jewel Collection. This is a specialty wine that was released in honor of Richard Childress's daughter. So Tina Dillon is the general manager here at the winery, and her dad wanted to highlight and kind of showcase her hard work and dedication so he released a collection of wine and named it the jewel in honor of tina so this is a prosecco style wine selection and it's the only prosecco style wine we have here in the tasting room so on the sweet and light you're going to have the soft white and the soft white is a semi-sweet it has a little bit of a peachy apricot tone to it shayla drunk <laughs> no I'm not cheers yeah, this is my second tasting go ahead i'm scared they say it tastes better, right? To me, it, it tastes, tastes better. better. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Oh, here go the picture of her dumbass. <laughs> this one's strong. Yeah, it kind of kicked me right here. Well. <laughs> it two pieces. It's strong for y'all. No, that's the sweetest. Bro. This is wine not for me. You gotta find the right one. I came to the conclusion that wine is now not you for have to me. find the right one. It ain't for me either. Paula, how did your taste? Oh. Karen is doing a whole different tour she from She's here trying to show me her room. That's pretty good. You tried yours already? We're doing sweet and light. Karen is doing dry and bold. Are a little bit fruitier for you. Okay. And then the Sangiovese will be your next dry selection. So this is an introduction into our dry red wine selection. It is an Italian wine and it is a barrel select. So barrel select means that this one's been aging for about um, 12 months in the French oak barrel. 10% alcohol content, so it's a little bit uh, sweeter. Okay, so this, so, of course, this one is going to have a little bit of light to medium body on it, a little bit of medium acidity. Okay. Really soft tannins on that one, so it's not going to give you that big dry effect. It goes really well with Italian food. Ooh, she yeah, drink wine. wine. She mixing it up. <laughs> My favorite one so far is the Sun Kiss Peach, and that's the one I'm sipping on right now. You need to put a little heart beside that one. Um, I feel like it don't taste that much like wine. It's giving juice to me. You're a little hard because you like Where is it? The sun kissed peach. I got yeah. a peach. I'm doing it down here. Probably because I got 2% body. <laughs> going to be another one of our sun kiss collections. So the sun kiss strawberry is um, very similar to the sun kiss peach as far as our method. So it does start off with the white one on base and then it has the all natural strawberries added to the end of the fermentation. Um, the next selection on our dry and bold is going to be our 2018 Cabernet Franc. Uh, this particular one is going to be of the Reserve Series. So it is going to stay on the vine a little bit longer. It's going to have a fuller body to it. A lot more um, of that oaking on this particular selection. Does that sweetness? The strawberry one? Thank you. Just so confused. <laughs> Why are you so confused? Watch Why did a different, different tour different from us? Tasting. You took them on oh, tour. this one. <laughs> yeah, you she got me confused. Yeah, <laughs> so bad. <'Cause> she wants <laughs> to get it on. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm about to try this one. Karen, come in here. I'm about to tell her. So you go. That is a big difference. No, it's just we're taking a picture. Mine. <laughs> you like it? Come on. Yeah, it's not bad actually. Mine was uh, the G-Mat. Yes. Right. So this is the red sangria of the Sunkiss collection. So this is a blend of two grapes. This is going to have our Cabernet Franc and our Sangiovese blended together. Um, there again, about 10% alcohol content. The same amount of sweetness in this one as it was in the two fruit collections that you've had. 
Your selection is going to be our Cabernet Sauvignon. So this is one of the fuller body dry red selections um, that we have in the tasting room. So this one is um, in the reserve series. This one is going to have more of your oaking, more of your um, tarring, a little less of that fruit forwardness than some of the other selections we've had. <laughs> This particular one, we do have a white sangria as well. The white sangria is the white wine base, where this one is the red grape base. So they have the same fruit content in them as the, sorry, on the finish, they have the same tropical fruit content. Hey y'all, so I'm trying the sangria one. What is it called? Sun, yeah. sun kiss red sangria. Why are you laughing, babe? Because I did a stupid face anyway. Let me get some. Cheers. Cab I don't know. Reserve Cabernet. Yeah. Alright. So this is the what? Six? Yeah, sun kiss red sangria. Yeah, you say you like sangria. This one's actually not that bad and I don't Let even like sangria. Mine ain't that bad. Let me try it. Oh, that's right. I thought you had it at home. It ain't that the other one. The other one. Alright, so this is the sixth one. Yeah. The sun kiss red sangria. Personally, I love sangria. This one is the native grape to North Carolina. So this one is sweet, it's fruity, and it's higher in alcohol content. So about 11.5% on this particular selection. Okay. And then for your next selection, you're going to have the Cabernet Franc. Um, the Cabernet Franc is from the same harvest year as the Cabernet Sauvignon. So 2018 harvest year on the Cab Franc. Um, this one is of the Reserve Series. So this one's going to have the higher... Um, Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Have you had a I like that. Before? No. no? Uh, okay, so you're in for a treat because you'll either love it or hate it. There's <laughs> no in between with this one. <laughs> okay, you just. She's so bad. I love that. She was like, I can try what I said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Round six. This might be the sweetest one. What do you think, Tell me? Baby, you don't like you lying. Yeah, the sweetness is the highest on this one. Mm. The for y'all, that's the highest sweetness. What's yours, Edna? We on the like mascadine it, sweet white. That's what it is. <laughs> okay, I love that. <laughs> I was just talking. <laughs> She was like, yeah, I had it. She said, no. All right. Cuál es? Mascada. Sweet white, baby. Oh, yeah, this one's sweet. It doesn't really taste like this. This is white sangria. I finished yours. I want a bottle of this one. Okay, go. <laughs> okay. Good, good. So Muscadine Red is going to be um, similar to the Muscadine White, but we're using the Noble Muscadine Grape Red. Um, so this one is the same amount of alcohol content, same amount of sweetness. Um, just using the red grapes is going to give it a different feel. Okay, okay. Then your last Thank selection you. on this for a bartender's thing is going to be the Monte Picciano. So Montepulciano okay. is a Italian style grape. Um, this particular one is uh, the cousin to the Sangiovese, which is the first red selection that you had. Okay. Did you like the white muscadine? Mm -hmm. Was that the last one? I feel like that one was the sweetest one. We yeah. It is. The sweetest and fruity. So this is the yeah. last one, right? Uh, yeah. You have a yeah. bartender's pick. So the last one uh, will be the same for everybody. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So you oh. pick our last one. Yeah, so okay. it's a it's a unique one. It's not like anything else we've had so far. <laughs> so that one, can we take it outside and drink it since we're about to close in here? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Yes. Right. What was your name again? My name is Crystal. Crystal? Yes. Yeah, Crystal did a good job. You know you're famous on TikTok. I saw you on TikTok. <laughs> That's, everybody comes in, they're like, how in the world? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. 
is a um, pretty unique selection here for us. So our winemaker did study in Portugal. So this is a true port style dessert wine called Starbound. It's 100% North Carolina blueberries fortified in brandy. So there are no grapes involved in this selection. Mm -hmm. um, this is going to spend about 15 months fortifying in the brandy. So it is higher alcohol content. It's about 18% like alcohol content. Okay, I like that. <laughs> 18. 18. Yeah, right at 18%. Then bartender pick. Yeah, so the bartender's pick is a dessert wine today. Um, and the bottle is slender. And no cheese. I just ate the chocolate. Oh, that's strong. Ooh, that's strong. I like it. He's talking about dessert. I ain't like that. I don't know what it is. So, Tammy has a message for this last election. What that means, Tammy? Take my kids to the store. 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 Take my kids to the Kicked out. <laughs> the officer over here talking about this is we part point. of the event. If now we gotta go because we not have profile people. No, he said this high profile people. I said, baby, we it's probably making more money than them motherfuckers. Exactly. No, more money than him. Officers don't make right. Exactly. Period. We high profile motherfuckers. Well, baby, you taking your job too serious. Cheers to high profile. <laughs> Hey y'all, so we back at Tammy House, so we just gonna chill here and sip here. Um, guess who I brought with me? <laughs> Little man. Go. That's a lot, man. Right. More than one ounce. Hey, 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 hey. Go low, go low, go down, go, go down, go down. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're grabbing dinner at Mellow Mushroom, Mamiana with Ezekiel, Bad Mamiana. Ezekiel is vibing. He chilling. We waiting on the rest of the girls. We wine drunk. <laughs> Mellow mushroom is right there. Let's go, let's go. Uh, bro, what you doing? Let's go. Want you to traffic people? I'm outside in an AMG. Right outside. TT. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. Baby mama straight, you know that hate her. Period. Still with the dogs that I grew beside. All the niggas around me, right at the dive. Gotta watch the time, cause it's fine right by. I'm outside in an AMG. Right outside, DT. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. Who am I? All the niggas around me, right at the dive.
<laughs> two days later good morning y'all so today is my baby's two month appointment and basically he's gonna get his two month shots and i am very scared slash nervous because i know this is about to hurt real bad and i know i think it's two shots probably four i'm not too sure but i'm scared because i know he's gonna be in pain and that's gonna be hard to watch but my mother-in-law is going to be coming with me. And that's pretty much what today consists of, I guess. Just the appointment. Nothing else, I believe. I'm going to record us at the appointment or whatever. I'll see you guys when I get there. So, he's asleep right now. He's just now waking up. You know, he got to do the most when he wake up. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Little man. Little man. I'm about to record until he completely wakes up. Little man. Look at him. Look at him. He love when mama talk to him. Little man. So it's currently like 10 something. My appointment is at 11. So I'm about to get him dressed. And then we should be heading out. I don't think he waking up. Honey. Look at him. He did sleep. All right, y'all. So he's all dressed. Say hey. Bye. <laughs> we about to head out. Uh -huh. Is it okay for your mom? 
I do one on this side and two on the other. So we came to Walmart to get a few groceries with my mother-in-law and he fell asleep in the car, but he up now because I ran over the little thing and I woke him up while I was pushing his stroller. Yeah, I just wanted to update you guys what we was doing. I think after this, we going home and that's pretty much it for the day. But so far, this is what we got in the cart. Several days later. What would you do to get to me? What would you say to have your way? Would you give up or try again? If I hesitate to let you win, no, would you be yourself? Hey y'all, today is Sunday and um the baby and his cousins came to take like pictures. Um I don't know if they're cousin pictures, but they came to take pictures, just the kids and stuff. So but like his cousin's on his daddy's side. Um, since we doing this photo shoot, I was like, well, I, he might as well have a session with my nieces, cause why not? So I was thinking about that after this. But before we get into this video, I want you guys to check out um my baby's first photo shoot when he came out the um, when we had just actually got home from the hospital. So I had got a few clips of this photo shoot, so I'm gonna go ahead and answer them now for you guys to watch. <laughs> All right, guys, so since y'all watched that, I'm gonna go ahead and go in here and record for you guys this little photo session. The baby right now, when we got here, he was asleep. So I don't know when he's up now, but hopefully he's not like um, fussy and stuff. If you get lost, boy, then I'll be your guide. 
and I will find you. You'll be my rock boy, and I will climb you. But you don't notice me. It's like I'm not even here. I see you in the air. I see you in the bay. I see you every day, but I don't know what to say. So I'll be at the ball till 12 o'clock. Hey, I'll be your Cinderella. Ella, hey. Then maybe you. I got this because I need some chill clothes to be around the house with. And it's just these North Carolina shorts. Size large. Then I got this jumpsuit. It's gray. So that's the two things I got at Ross. I mean, not Ross, Marshall. Then I got, so this shirt I got on my boyfriend wearing, and I got me with the same one. I got him a large, and I got myself a medium. And I got him a t-shirt, I like the color. So I got him this one. Then I got me this cute little shirt. It has like flowers on it. I like the color, so. And I love shades that are like this. Like that. I got me some jean shorts. I seen some better ones. But the other ones, the zipper was broke. I wanted those though. They were better. Oh, this would be cute. This with these jean shorts. I hate how jeans smell. I got me these biker shorts. It has pockets. They're like the exercise ones. But they have small pockets on the side. Then I got me these black shorts. It has some distress on it. And then I got me some clips and I just realized these are broken. They cute though. It was. 
they still cute. I got, I got one good one and one broken one. But that's pretty much it for this. This is all I got. I needed some more shirts and some more bottoms. Yeah, I did pretty good. And Ross, I spent 200 not 200 hundred and seven dollars I believe. One of seven. I think I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. So you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And see you guys Damn. in the next video.